Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing something really fun. I made an order and we're going to be doing a full face of all e.l.f. products. So I'm not much for a long introduction so let's just get to it and I'll show you what I bought and we'll start putting it on my face and then I'll give you my first impressions. First thing I got was the e.l.f. mascara. It's called Lash It Out Loud. I got a foundation, Flawless Satin Foundation. I got their HD Sheer Powder. I got their primer, the Power Grip Primer that everyone is like wild about. I'm not huge on primers. In my opinion, if you do all your skincare and you do your prep work beforehand, you shouldn't need primer in my opinion, but we're going to give it a try and I'm going to be fair about it. See how I like it. I got the e.l.f. bronzer. The, oh, it's a primer infused bronzer. And then the primer infused blush. It came with some free brushes, which I guess we'll attempt to use. And the last thing I got was this liquid glitter eyeshadow, pinky square is the color. So I'll give it a try and I'll swatch everything for you and let you know how it goes. So let's dig into the um, Power Grip Primer. See how I like that. It comes with a pump, I like that. I'm just gonna put two things on the back of my hand. It's clear. It doesn't come off that green color. I've already prepped my skin. I put lotion on, eye cream, all of the things. It is tacky. You can see. Down my neck. I don't know how I feel about it. It feels really weird. So, thinking on one half of my face, I'll use a brush. On the other half, I'll use my trusty little sponge here. It's dirty. Ignore that. So, I don't know how much. I'm just going to do like two pumps dip my brush down in it do the brush on this side oh it's pretty light i got the color snow it has pink undertones it's difficult doing all this in the why my camera I don't know if it's supposed to be a full coverage or not, but I like a sheer coverage, so I'm not gonna go too crazy. I think I'm gonna like applying it better with a sponge. Down the neck, over the ears. I think it's a good match. We'll see. Now for the sponge. I'll do another pump. It should go a little bit further with the sponge. Where did I set my sponge at? I tell you what. I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. Yeah, I definitely like applying it better with the sponge. When I first put it on, it seems really light, but then it kind of... It, I don't know, it matches my neck, that's for sure. What is that? Hmm. That's the, this is the only thing I don't like about using the sponge is over my eyes. I feel like it looks weird when I do that. I didn't get any brow stuff 
or a lot of eyeshadows because I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow when I do makeup. I don't wear makeup that often, you guys. I went over it with a sponge. It's just habit. <clears throat> Get everything nice and blended. Mm. I don't know if that's picking up. It looks weird on my nose. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. It's really hard to beat that Charlotte Tilbury's flawless coverage or whatever it's called. It's just so lightweight. I love it. It's my favorite. This one, it looks streaky on my forehead. Mm, it is what it is. We're just going to roll with it. This powder is completely translucent. I've been listening to the Twilight soundtrack. You guys, I'm just such a sucker. I love Twilight so much. So, you you cannot tell. Let me turn my light off here. Let's see if you can tell. I turn that off. It's got this spinny thing. Yeah, and this is where the product comes out. So, I'm going to put the lid back on, give it a shake, see how much product comes out. <sighs> Oh, the lid. It's not wanting to go on. There we go. So I just do this. Let's see how much product we get. A nice amount. A lot of amount. We're not going to use that much. Uh, I'm going to use a sponge for under the eyes. I didn't get any concealer either because I... I don't usually, unless, the only time I wear concealer is if I have a super lightweight foundation. Like that Charlotte Tilbury one. Okay. The rest I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collection. The JH01. Huge. Look at the size of this thing. Huge powder brush. Whoa. Whoa, honey. I might should have got some brow product. <coughs> I went a little crazy with that. <laughs> Breathing it in. Hopefully it doesn't have talc in it. It probably does, but whatever. I just want a nice matte because I'm going in with all powder products today. This does leave a white cast. See if I can see it. It leaves a white cast on my face. Hopefully, look, I have powder on my arm. Dear Lord. We went a little crazy. We went a little crazy with the powder. As you can see, it leaves a white cast. It's all down the front of me, too. We're gonna have to get some the blow dryer out and blow dry off my dress. Alright, let's see if we can warm this up. Get that little spot down there. I don't know what that is. Hmm. Whatever. Now, how in the world am I going to get all this powder? Y'all, it dispensed so much powder. It's hard to see. How am I going to get it back in there? How am I going to do that? Note to self, when I go to open this the next time, I do not need to shake it that much. We're like wasting a bunch of powder. That's okay. Holy Toledo, man, that's... Let me step back and let me show you my dress. All the powder on it. I don't know if you can tell. That's pretty see-through. You? Uh, no, maybe it's just the powder. Good lord. Okay. I'm going to use 
this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill. These are the only brushes I ever, look how white my face looks now. That powder leaves a white cast. This is a tragedy. I'm getting ready to go to work, so there's no like redo this. We're just gonna warm it up with some bronzer. I might look scary going to work today. It's a great possibility because that is really, really white. Holy Toledo. It's real white. Maybe I'm hoping some setting spray will remedy all this. So I didn't get an e.l.f. setting spray because I already have so darn many of them, this packaging. Okay, let's get this bronzer out and see if it helps warm up my face a little bit. I look like a ghost. We might just be putting this everywhere. Let's see. Really get it in there. That's a little better. We might be just be putting this bronzing powder all over my face. Let me show you what it looks like without the ring light on. I guess there's not, you can't really tell much of a difference. Put that ring light that on, back on. <laughs> I love the Twilight soundtracks. I was listening to them while I was in the shower. I'm just warming up my entire face, the edges of my face. Cause man, that white powder is white. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm just using this bronzing powder as basically a face powder at this point. Because man, it looks crazy. On either side of my nose. I'm just bronzing up the entire area of my face. Like, there's no contouring or bronzing going on. It's just me trying to remedy that powder because <laughs> it's so white. Mm. And then it's gonna look like I have so much makeup on my face. All right. You guys, my favorite blush brush is this Wet n Wild brush that I've had for forever. Um, the Taylor or Taylor Wynn uh, recommended this like years, years, years ago. It probably need to invest in a new one because they're really, they're cheap. But. It really does have a nice payoff on it. The cheek color I got is called Always Cheeky, and the bronzing powder is just called Forever Sunkissed, which wasn't, it's not as dark as a, of a bronzer as I would normally use. You have to keep in mind this is e.l.f. It's very inexpensive makeup. So for the cost I was I'm trying to come up with like if I was to go buy a makeup kit for a beginner I have to keep it affordable because it's probably someone younger um and or someone just getting into makeup and not wanting to invest a lot so I'm trying to come up with a video on like basic products that are affordable that can get you your first makeup collection makeup just enough to do your face with which I'm not even a huge fan of foundations because they make the face look really heavy I don't know you guys this you're ha I'm having to put a lot of darn blush on but it's nice it's it's has a little bit of payoff mm -hmm. even though I'm having to use a lot of it it's all over my shirt too. Look, uh, if you can tell, it's not sticking to my face. It's just falling off a little bit on the nose. 
I did not see an e.l.f. highlighter. There is powder everywhere. Blush, bronzer, that white powder. This first impression, I'm not liking. I'm not liking hardly any of the products that I'm using. There is just so much. There's more powder in my bathroom than there is on my face. But it's not bad. It's not horrible. I'm going to take, let's use those new brushes that they sent. This was a total freebie. And e.l.f. makes okay brushes. And I'm going to use some of the bronzing powder. That forever sun-kissed on my eyes. S see how much kicks up? Like... I'm just going to warm up the eyelid a little bit, all the way to the brow. <sighs> swirl, 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 and look. There's so much that it kicks off. Maybe I'm too heavy handed with it, I don't know. It's okay. Tis what it is. The brush is okay. I like it. And then, let's see. The next thing I got was this liquid glitter eyeshadow in Pinky, pinky Swear. I think I'm going to like this. This is a supposedly a dupe for the Stila ones that are in like similar packaging. So much trash over there in that corner. Uh, oh, that is pretty. I'm just going to go all over the lid with it. I've been having some wild dreams, you guys. Last night I had a dream I was a babysitter for these people that I have no idea who they were. And I found their stash of uh, should I even talk about this? I don't know. I found their stash of um pot and or weed or whatever you want to call it. And I you guys, I don't smoke. like I don't I have way too much going on in my life that that could seriously screw my life up. I have a crazy ex-husband who would just be all over that like white on rice if I smoked pot. But uh, it's not my it's not my thing. If you do it, that's good for you, but it's not my jam. I'm gonna take a Q-tip. That's really pretty. The eyeshadow is really pretty. So I found their stash of weed and I smoked it and they fired me and from babysitting and I started crying and I was like I'm so sorry I thought because you had it it was okay and I'm just like I woke up and I was like what a weird dream what a weird dream I do not like having dreams like that I like having fun dreams I like about flying and dreams about my boyfriend I had a really good dream about him the other day. It's very nice. So I just got some of that product out of my eyebrows with the Q-tip. And the very last thing is mascara. I don't know how I feel about this makeup look, you guys. It's just okay. We made it in the trash can that time. When? All right, come on, mascara, don't let me down. I don't know how people can do mascara without opening their mouth. If you can do it without opening your mouth, put something in the comments, because I sure can't. I'm 
so the only thing I would do different about this eye look is I would have got an elf eye shadow um, kit or whatever, shadow, eyeshadow. I would have got eyeshadow from them and I would have blended something in the crease to make that not such a harsh line, but you can tell when I turn the lamp off, it doesn't look as bad. That and I'm not gonna be walking around like this all day. I'd just be like this. Oh, that's okay. That's not a bad mascara. Not for the price. I have yet to try the Princess Lash or whatever that everyone raves about. But that is on my to try next. And see, I like that the, it's the Essence Princess Lash or something like that. Wiggle, wiggle back and forth. Come on, get on there. You do have to put a lot of coats on for this mascara to give you any kind of payout. Dip in again, do a little more. It's not a bad mascara for however much it was, three or six bucks, I don't know. The whole order that I placed for everything was like 50 bucks, $48 before tax. I remember that, but I have powder literally in everywhere, everywhere. So this is the finished look. Now I just have to do something with my hair and I don't know how to like block out the sound to where you, I would do it on camera, but I use one of these and like this, would be super noisy and loud. It's not plugged in, but it'd be like, I'm not, I'm not, no. So I'll finish doing my hair, post a thumbnail. This is the finished look, you guys. Leave a comment down below, tell me your thoughts. And then at the end of the day, I might do like a short video about how it's held up. I am gonna put a setting spray on it, you guys, um, but it's not Elf, so I'm not gonna show it in the video. So to give it its best chance, I'm gonna use a setting spray, you guys. So thank you for tuning in. Um, as always, I hope you guys have a great day. Leave a comment down below. It really helps my channel out. And thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.